So let's carry on. In this part, lesson three, uh, in my previous lesson, I joined lesson one and two. Here, I will take you through how to insert pictures and auto shapes, cropping them, resizing them, text wrapping, inserting page numbering, master page, and uh, others. So you will notice that uh, publisher allows you to insert uh, pictures. Like now, for example, if I want to draw a small direction here, just go to insert shape, then you see I can be in a position to, to draw while clicking, I'm drawing a river. This river goes, you see. You see now I can be in a position to do such a thing. Then I can click on it, then go to format up here, then shape out train, then weight. I add weight. Then I change color to that of a river. Shape out train. Uh, let's just uh, use, br no, no, I'm supposed to go to line this one. Shape out train. Let's uh, say this is a river. So you see, you can utilize the auto shapes uh, accordingly. Then you can also uh, go ahead to insert, uh, insert pages. Like now you see, I can also be in a position to insert an auto shape here. Then type inside it, right click, uh, then add text. Then you can have that uh, this is a mighty way of drawing drawing auto shapes auto shapes using ms publisher so guys you can see having this one i can also edit this one by going to shape and giving it a color so microsoft publisher is very powerful it is a very uh, powerful tool and before I read from this point, it's also important we go through the font dialog box. Like for example, if I format this data of mine, then double click this arrow. It opens the font dialog box, which is very similar to that of Microsoft Word. This one can allow you to change things. Like now, you see this is a preview of what is happening. If you click on emboss, outline, you see shadow, like now I have put out train and shadow, but out train and both cannot go together. Then change this one to wherever. Then I click on apply, okay. You see now I will have you traced the font dialog box. Also you have subscribe, subscript and uh, superscript, but that one you can only do it inside the text box. You go to insert shape. Now I want to write a mathematical formula here. So log 10, 100. Uh, then you can say press, let's say uh, rog, rog uh, 10, 100. So what I am supposed to do here, I want to change this one to subscript, so uh, to superscript, so I format, just like I took you in Microsoft Word, you just hit that in case you want a subscript, uh, sorry, uh, it's supposed to be a subscript, like that. Then this one is a subscript. So basically what you need to do now is to increase the font size for this. You can just right click to get the, the toolbar, you see now, that way. But in case you, you are working with something like now, uh, this 3 O plus. Now I need this one to be superscript. So I go to this point, this is superscript, but the 3 is subscript, so subscript. So you can see, the font can allow me to do a lot in Microsoft Publisher. Then it is also important to note that pictures, clippers, and others behave just like in Microsoft Word. But on the other hand, how do you insert uh, page numbers? You just go to insert, then you just go to page number here. You can change the format. Like now I want it, them to be Roman, capital, starter. You must press this, then click on OK. So this one will be page one. But uh, if I, you see here from here, you can see one. I want to insert more pages, just go here, then click insert blank pages. I can also go in case I need many, insert page, then like I need 10, I click on okay. So you see I have page one, two, three, that way. But uh, I wish to also take you through how, for example, you can put a header and a footer that applies to all pages at a 
uh, brink of an eye. So you just press Control M, M, or you go to View, View menu, then hit on Master Page. Master Page is the page where all controls are done. So I just go to Insert, then I just go right now. I want to put a word at, then I want to put uh, this one. So I can just say uh, this is this is a publication application for demonstration tradition. so I can change the font size as you wish from here then you can just hit on ok so this is my my header yeah then I also need now to have my footer down here so I can just go to insert shape this time around I want to draw a an outer shape and give it some features or shape give it some color like that then I copy I paste it you go home copy paste so I can arrange several there paste you can arrange another one there so this is my footer and once I am done by this one I click on let me just save it as public you know, when I, I just am done I just go to page page master page and then cross so you'll notice that each and every page bears this you see each and every page bears whatever I have put in the master page. And that tells you that the master page is a page that is very useful. The next thing also in the relation to this one, we can have a table. You can insert a table from insert. Then just like Microsoft Word, I took you, you can do this or insert, then put the number of columns. The professional way of doing it is this. You put number of columns. But it is important to note that in publisher you have to put borders right click go to format table then you put borders then click on ok for that case you have uh, uh, created a table where you can now drag this and that then you can now have something like admission number you can have a first name you can have last name you can have uh, something like age something like marks something like remarks it's that way so now from here you can be in a position to edit these ones accordingly accordingly you can increase the font size from home here you see you can do the same you can borrow them you can unrain as you wish so basically you can see microsoft publisher is more powerful uh, compared to uh, microsoft uh, microsoft word and other text editors because this one allows you to do a number of modifications it allows you to do a lot of uh, other things uh, on the other hand we can proceed we can proceed to lesson number four on which we can combine two the two so that uh, we can also have a good grasp of the ideas behind uh, Microsoft Publisher. Also remember you can adjust the text boxes accordingly like that. Uh, on the other hand, we can utilize the pasteboard here to make something like a logo. Let's see, in, uh, we can just go to this part here. Um, that is the shapes. Then we can have something that we need. Like now I want to have this one as part of the logo. Then you can color it. You can have it red. Then again, we go to insert shape. You take a shape like this one here. Then you also give it the same color. color. But we need this one to be behind. So you just go to this point, set back. You see now it goes back. Then on the other hand, I go again insert shape. I can uh, try to get uh, this one, the, the banner. Then also this one go to shape, give it some color red. And also, I need to color it. And also, uh, have it uh, that that one is okay. That way. Then go ahead, insert shape, take an arrow, draw an arrow like that. Then take the rotating free and free it. Also, make it slim or narrower so we can have this one here. This one is given uh, the same color. Then you can copy it. It's home, copy paste. So I can have it here. Then after having done that, 
guys, after done doing that, I can now hold the shift key on the keyboard and click individual elements. I'm doing something called a grouping. So I just go to this point, group. Now this becomes one, you see? It becomes one. And therefore, once it becomes one like this, I can be in a position to have my logo here, placed somewhere there. That's my logo. So you can use Microsoft Publisher to uh, accomplish a lot of, that is a lot of uh, uh, stuff. So we just use the next page to uh, do another demonstration, whereby I can just go to this one, then go to this part here. I want to come up with an ID, then I can go back here and take this log of mine, home, copy, copy. So I go to my page, and paste it here. Then I make it smaller. This is my logo, so this is my school logo. You create a school ID. Then I just go to insert, uh, take shapes, then I take text box, so that we can have, that we have Maji Matamu High School Kirifi. This is what we have, then you can highlight, increase the size for the font size. I'll change this one to something no, I needed agency and agency FB. Good, bold. Then we can have. You can just minimize that one. You can still draw another text box. This is the power of publisher. You can still draw another there. Yeah. Like now, this one is PO box. Creepy, creepy. Then still adjust it accordingly. Still adjust it as you wish if this is 12. Then uh, you can also go to insert shape, take a straight line, draw a straight line there, then go to shape, wait, add weight, give it a different color, give it a different color. Then now we take the, the, the other text box here, like now I can have the text box, like now date of birth, date of admission, year of exit age in the case UP, UPI UPI number you see then make them bold and also for example size size what 11 then after doing that now here somebody will come and just type 19 uh, 2010 date of admission let's say 2021 20 20. Then ex, uh, year of exit, let's say 2024. Age um, 2010. Age is around what? Um, 10. This is around 10 years. Then the UPI, let's say UP, whatever, whatever. That is the UPI number. Then from here, we can have the school motto down here. School motto insert shape here. We can have the school motto here. A passion for excellence. Then align it, alignment. Just like I took you in alignment in why well, in case you mess and do. So I need this one to be bigger and bold. You can use control B as keyboard shortcut. Then after doing that you can insert the students photo insert picture. So I go to pictures, I go to where my students are, then I can have I can have my student, can have my student here, insert. So I can just bring the student uh, photo there, just like that. Let's the student photo be like that. You see now, as a complete student ID is there using Microsoft Publisher. Therefore, you can be a maybe to notice that uh, Microsoft Publisher is very much powerful. So what you need to do is to select this. You can drag the mouse the way I have done. Click and hold. Sorry. Okay. Then hit it. I go to format. Format until you see group. There are four, three formats. You go to picture for tools. Hit group. So you can see this ID is complete. So in case I need to create like 10, just copy this and paste. Then I just separate them. 
Again, I click, I hold shift, T, click both of them, uh, copy, paste. Then I drag another two down, and another two down, okay, sorry. I drag another two down. There we are. You see now? Let me just undo once. I copy this. Therefore, I just drag down here. Okay, one should be up here so that this one can be down. So this one can be down. There we are. You see now, I have been in a position to create uh, several students' IDs in uh, Publisher. So you can see Publisher is very powerful. Uh, this was a nice one. Uh, therefore, Microsoft Publisher can also be used to create such school IDs. You can also create something like a, a, a book cover using the same. See, now you can have your book cover. I draw it again. You can have or just copy from home, copy paste. You have both. You see, now you can have the book spine here. Then uh, you have to type. If you have to type, you just go to shape, then take the the text box, you see. Then you type your, your stuff inside the text box. You can also go ahead and make this one's look nice, like the book spine, like that. Can I move this, first of all? Maybe this one to have that weight, that way. Then you can also write your text here, insert. Book this one, type your text here, that. This is the best computer science textbook in Kenya. See? Then, can reduce the size of this. Also, the, this one. Then, I write this one. Increase the font size. Something like 22. You see? Then, rotate. Rotate it. Then, just fix it here. See, you fix it here. Then, since it's it's big, you can just reduce the the font size. The font size you can use control bracket to do that. You see, now this is a book spine. Where by now, from this point, you can be in a position to draw something uh, like uh, this one here. This is approved. Right click to write in a textbook in a in a auto shape. Approved by K I K I C D. Then you can just rotate. You see, you can rotate and bring it there. You can change the shape color. You see, as you wish. So in nutshell, Microsoft Publisher is very powerful. Just like uh, I have taken you, you can be in a position to uh, create several things from the insert shapes. This is where all the power is. This is where you can draw everything you wish. You see everything you wish, even if you want to type inside here, right click, add text, then you can be in a position also to change the colors of uh, these various, various uh, outer shapes. And therefore guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe, remember to share my video uh, my videos with your friends so that they can also have to get the skills that i'm offering thank you very much